All right, Brock the Howl, Brock the Oshai, Brock the Howl, Brock the Oshai, Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim, Rakakodash, the blinds of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, uh, which were well citations to the hopeful elect out there. You are came to the Dakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity on the pre Shaman. Um, so like it turn this down a little bit, eyes are a bit sensitive. And this week's topic is going to be entitled, um, <coughs> um. I don't know what we normally say, like you've seen in that movie. Quote unquote, like you've seen in that movie. And that's something that brothers say often through the spirit, um, whether the movie relates to the past, present, or f distant future. Um, we'll say, you know, that movie links perfectly with prophecy, right? And that was one thing, and still, even to this day, people scoff at. I mean, um, you have Vocab Malone who scoff at the fact that we say things like that. The list is endless, you know. But. Now, with this current situation, it's hard to gain say against these things. You know what I'm saying? So with that said, let me read this scripture. Luke 21 and 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom. Wisdom is uh, the scriptures. Not on mine, not on thoughts, but the scriptures. So, uh, 2 Timothy 3 verse 15. Knowing that the Holy Scripture from a youth, which is able to make thee wise unto salvation. So that's where we generate our wisdom from. It's the Bible. It says, For I will give you a mouth and wisdom. So the Mosai is the one that gives us this mouth to speak, Jeremiah, uh, the first chapter. Which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Now the movies you see up top, you have Equilibrium, which came out in the early 2000s, and Demolition Man, which came out in, I believe, 1993, Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes. And Brothers been bringing out that movie for a long time, you know, like they show you in Demolition Man. And what are some of the things they showed you in that movie that was not present at the current present time they had the rfid microchip which is in our time now and it was mandatory this dude had to get it when he came out of a cryo chamber you have um they were suppressing thoughts both these movies is about suppressing your feelings and thoughts and what's the main the main emotion that's being suppressed today is um hate you know you can't hate anything. Apparently, being hate, to, to hate something is wicked nowadays, you know, in, in ESO society. And they showed you that in movies like Equilibrium, how they want to suppress your um, um, emotions, have complete um, control over you. And ESO is so crafty that he generates it in a way that he doesn't have to do it. You self-do it. Um, a prime example is um, being politically correct, right? This whole politically correct phenomenon. If you're making some type of money in a society and you have um, your revenue streams through outlets like twitter and instagram and facebook and and you teach and educate the moment you say one thing that's offensive they could shut off shut off your whole revenue stream so what people do is they self correct themselves even though they quote unquote even our constitution t uh, speaks about freedom of speech it doesn't say freedom of love or it just says freedom of speech you can say whatever you want to say and at the time when these movies were um in theaters th those concepts seems crazy what are you telling me i'm not going to be able to to say what I want to say, you know, and they know how to switch it, they how to man manipulate things. In today's era, the Democrats are pro, uh, are pro political um, correctness, but in the early 60s, they were all about saying whatever the fuck you want to say. So that's how this man operates, you know, and these things, um, these things get the prophecies really get fulfilled again, the further. Esau pushes his technology, his miracle, right? Um, the time when demolition and equilibrium were released, it seemed futuristic, you know, um, distant uh, future where some of the things in the technology, like what, you know? But now look, we we don't surpass some of these things, right? And certain scriptures, um, they tie to um, technological investment, right? Um, you know, the RFID microchip. Um, like, oh, look at the scripture like Ezekiel, the fourth chapter. Eating your bread defiled among the Gentiles. Um, we've been here for a long time, right? But this whole Monsanto and GMO foods, you can't do that naturally. You can't, you can't naturally produce seeds, um, uh, uh, produce trees that grow no seeds. Like, that shit is, that, that had, this devil had to get that technology to be able to manipulate and splice genes and all what, you know, whatever type of science he does but that's that advancing of technology and at the same time advancing prophecy man so we're living in a technological age man we're living in an age where you could do lessons 
um, live on your phone. You know, that's, I mean, we take that lightly because we've been conditioned to, but look, man, when I was a kid, man, the fucking phones were being turned on, on the rings, you know, and that wasn't that long ago. You know, I'm not that old and shit, you know, but Daniel's the fourth chapter tells us that um, technology shall increase. Jer- uh, Jeremiah 5 and 14. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, the power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and wood doesn't stand a chance against fire, right? The things, when we say things like you see in that movie, um, you might think that the movie, we got the idea from the movie, but really the movie, the movie got the idea from the scriptures. You had a situation with Aaron Russo, he was speaking to uh, Nick Rockefeller, and Nick Rockefeller was telling him, look, you know, everybody's going to get chipped. And and Aaron Russo, he had some type of conscience. You know, he definitely could be a Jake because Jake has a conscience. He's like, why you want to do this, you know? And Nick Rockefeller, he showed no type of remorse. You know, he didn't give a fuck, right? But do you think that's the only producer he told, you know? Or do you think that's the only time a, an, an, an elite told a Hollywood insider the coming future plans? Of course not. They tell them all types of shit, you know? And what these lesser luminaries do is they put it in their movies. Now, where do the elites get this stuff from? It all reverse back to the Bible, you know? Uh, Eldar Knopp said one thing, man. He said the scripture, remember, the scripture is one of the most copyrighted books in all of history. All these top movies you see that influence people, The Matrix and, you know, all these, you know, f science fiction movies and all these ideas and concepts that you think Esau comes up with is plagiarized from the scriptures, man. You know? <clears throat> Got War of the Worlds. It's all throughout the scriptures, man. Uh, Jeremiah 1 and 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord Yahweh said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. So, that's the key right there. The words that we're speaking, when we say stuff like you see like that in that movie, and we've read it back to the scriptures, it's not our own words, thoughts, and speculation. It's the Most High putting these words in our mouth. So it's not gain saying against ours, per se. You're gain saying against the words of the Most High, which is completely futile, man. You know? If the scripture says the RFID microchip is going to come to pass, it's going to come to pass. So come in World War Three, the gathering of the nations in the Middle East, all these things are going to come to pass, man. You know? They show you uh, movies of how, you know, the tension between the United States and Russia and them popping off. And, and the brother might say, just like you see in that movie, well, guess what, man? It all goes back to the scripture, you know? And that's a common thing that we've been saying for a long time, starting with the apostles, the elders. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know about the elders before them if they did that, but I know the apostles and elders, they do that all the time, you know? And guess what? The scoffers that have been in fucking lockdown quarantine are starting to see that, that shit, I'm in lockdown quarantine right now, I can't go to my favorite mall right now, I can't do this, I can't do that, they got millions of troops coming in the United States, and, you know, now the most I've shown it to you. You, you, you couldn't see it before, you didn't have faith in it, fine, so we're going to show it to you, that's pretty much what the Lord did, um, just to back up that point that, you know, this is, again, this, this all, all these things that we do through the spirit is of the most high. We don't take credit for it. Proverbs 1601, the preparation of the heart and the man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. So if you hear brothers prophesying out there in the scriptures and we tell you, look, it's going to be like the road out here. It's going to be like the book of Eli out here. That's the spirit telling you. All right. That's the spirit telling you. Look, second Ezra 16 chapter, the, uh, the sedition among men. Tell you like movies like I Am Legend where they showing you you um need, you know certain cities are gonna be blocked off. You can't just get in and out of certain cities. That's you know Second Ezra the 15th chapter, Second Ezra the 16th chapter going into cannibalism. All these things that we say, they show you in these movies, man. They show you they show you in these movies, and we're seeing that today, man. We're seeing that now. We're at the point 2020 where. Uh, 2020 year prophecy that the prophecies are speaking they're not lying they're evident they're right in front of your motherfucking face whether you like it or not you know and we and we're rejoicing in this because brothers have been waiting for this uh, time man now let me read the scripture again and I jump to Isaiah 55 Jeremiah 1 and 9 then the Lord Yahweh put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the Lord said unto me 
Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. So understanding that this is the words of the Heavenly Father, let's see what the Bible says concerning the words of the Heavenly Father. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. So it's not going to come out uh, vain, empty, you know, without effect. So the things that we say, we say things like, look, it's going to be like the road out here. It's going to be like the movie Demolition Man. It's going to be like Equilibrium where these niggas are going to be suppressing your emotions and all this, you know, all these things that brothers say through the spirit while they prophesy. And it's the words of the Heavenly Father and it's not going to return void, man. You know? Shit, they taking down videos. There's certain things I can't say that one time you could say. You know, if you watch, a, if you had the time, man, just do this. Watch that movie Life with Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence. It came out in 1999. A movie like that cannot be made now, period. They can't, it can't be made now because, you know, and that's why a lot of these comedians are going out of business because they can't say shit. And the comedians, comida, uh, food, you know, they give you food for thought. A lot of things they say is true because comedians have sense, you know. And a lot of things they say is true and evident, but they even being restricted to the things they could say and do, man. And with the social distancing, you can't even come together and protest. Because if you do that, they're going to lock your ass up. Okay? The coronavirus outbreak, just like they show you in Contagion, boom, now it's coming to pass. That movie Outbreak in the 90s, you know what I'm saying? So there's these things that Esau's putting out in his movies. Again, he's not creative, you know? He's not... He's not creating. He's he's copying. He's he's mimicking these prophecies, all right. Which if the Bible said it first, and then you put it in your movie later, then the Bible had it first, man. You know. And people just go to movies for entertainment. Nothing really, you know. Some of these films are, you know, very educational, man. You know, what I'm saying it's when you put the flashy lights and the big explosions to the side, and really let these movies sink in. They saying a lot, man. You can see a lot in it. He, this man shows you his agenda. And then, you know, in the coming future, he executes it. But he does it gradually. Gradually, man. That's one thing you learn with Esau. He's extremely patient, man. These guys make plans hundreds of years in the making. You know, like this dude, Adam Weissop, speaking about World War Three, And that was in the 1700s, right? So this devil is ex extremely patient. He understands reincarnation, that he's going to come back and reap the benefits of his plans. Um, and they think that they're going to continue this forever, um, pursuant to the book of Psalms 49 and 11. But they're not. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereunto I sent it. So the only way this scripture right here that I just read through the Spirit is going to hit full effect is if you have faith. You know, I, that's really what it comes down to. And you can't do anything to train and practice your faith or nothing. Like, really, it's just a gift of the Heavenly Father. Either you have it or you don't, you know. And as surely as the most I give it, He can surely take it away. So you got to pray to keep that I'm a one, the faith. Ephesians 2 and 10. For we are His... Ephesians 2 and 10. Ephesians 2 and 8, pardon me. For by, the, for by grace are you saved. Grace, you know. Meaning mercy. It was... It, it, look, we didn't do anything deep. We, we didn't do anything to... Um, obtain this knowledge that we have right now. It was preordained, predestined before we even step foot on this earth that, look, you're going to be a prophet, you're going to teach. And it's also preordained if you're going to make it or not, you know. Um, we hope that we're going to make it, you know, same, the creature is subject to hope. So we hope that we're going to make it in these times, you know. We hope that we make it to the end. I know I sure damn know be praying every day to make it, you know, pray for brothers, you know, um, pray for yourself, because you want to you want to get delivered out of here. Pray for your family if you have to. Shit. Pray for your damn dog. Who knows? Pray for whatever you love and and, and you want mercy on. You pray for that. And Lord willing, the Most High um uh, makes you go around, makes you uh, get it on the next go around, right? It says, "For for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of the Most High." So, hey, look, man, you can't even boast in faith. You can't boast in works. You can't boast in faith. You didn't do shit. We didn't do shit. Everything was ordained of the Heavenly Father. And when we speak these scriptures, if you don't have an, even an, an inkling or a drop of faith, then it's just it's just not going to resonate, you know? And, that, and, the, and I know that certain brothers have more faith than others. And that's why the scriptures say, um, some shall be faithful unto death, because you have certain brothers that are going to be faithful unto death. 
uh, certain men out there might not have that amount of faith, so the Lord is not going to give them more than they can bear. So there's a different dispensation of faith, but just be glad even if you have a fucking drop of it, man. Not a fucking drop. If you have a blessed drop of it, man. Because it's very important at the times that we're in. As we approach the end, um, you know, more are going to come in, but also more are going to get disenchanted. And it might sound like crazy, like how the fuck can someone get disenchanted with all these things happening? But look, man, this is just the will of the Heavenly Father. You know, this is a part of the prophecies. Now going back to Isaiah 14, 24, and I'll close on this right here. Isaiah 14 and 24 says, The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, I love this scripture, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purpose, so shall it stand. So when you hear brothers, some of the apostles, the elders, brothers, all throughout the states prophesying and bringing out these scriptures, and you might hear a brother say, Look, man, like you seen in that movie, this, that, and the third, whether it's past, present, or future. Um, and mainly I'm dealing with the ones that dealt with the future. Um, things that weren't evident at the time that brothers were prophesying, and now they are, you know, genetically modified foods. How do, you know, that's crazy. You know, a, a tree that can grow apple with no seeds in it, that's, you know, that's, you'd have gone back 50 years ago, somebody wouldn't wrap their head around that, you know? But the, the most I gave this devil, again, the miracles, that, that technology to do things that, it just sounds surreal, man. You know, we do lessons on the hypersonic missiles that are able to go speeds of Mach 27. That's a giant missile traveling faster than a sniper bullet. Like, you just let it sink in. Like, yo, what? Yo, the Mossad is really giving this devil some shit. You know what I'm saying? And with the uh, amazing technology the Mossad has, has given this um, devil... It only leads to one thing, pride. You know, like, look, nobody can take me down. You know, you give him, you telling me I got anti-matter gun or whatever the fuck they're working on. you telling me I got lasers and I believe the fastest jet on record went Mach 6. They had this one jet, um, I forgot the name of it, but it went Mach 6. Six times the speed of sound with, a, with an actual human pilot in it. Uh, shit is, that was crazy, you know. That thing is tra traveling faster than a bullet. So, hey, look, we, again, just like the last previous lessons, um, you can't gainsay, you know, these prophecies are speaking, um, it's no longer tarrying, um, and one of the common sayings is, as you, like you see in that movie, that's something you can't even gainsay against now, because you're living in the, in, in the movies that we've mentioned before. All right, so with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kodash. The belongs to the apostles and the elders of great millstone with you well. Citations to the hopeful elect out there. You are came to Sadakim that do, do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.